up everybody? So we are continuing our season two of Get to Know God. We got AJ here, we got Steve here. What's going on guys? And we know it's late, but uh, this is probably the only time where we actually are not working. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we are doing this and we're recording. We're going to talk about some stuff that's going on in our lives. Um, feel free to comment, ask questions, whatever you want to do. Um, we've also got some interesting topics for season two coming up. Yes, we do. Um, oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, I'm going to lead off with Steve here. Hey Steve, so what's been going on in your life? Oh my goodness, guys. There's been so much going on. Um, God has blessed me, uh, just profoundly over the past month or so. I just started uh, running my own personal training business. Um, I've had about 10 clients sign up, uh, minimally at twice a week. Um, I work with people like Matt over here, um, AJ, <clears throat> and everybody has different goals. So um, I script specific work workouts that are tailored to their goals. Um, and pretty much I do workout plans and all kinds of different business things. Um, just God's blessed me there. Um, as far as over the past few months, I've actually gotten out of um, some personal relationships I was, I was in. Um, so it's kind of been um, giving me more time to operate with my business and focus on my own personal goals. Uh, so never let that uh, be a setback for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's going really well. I, I have a bunch of different people I'm working with and, and uh, that is that. I could go into detail, but I'll let AJ reflect on himself a little bit here. What's going on with you, AJ? Um, um, uh, mostly working, training with feet. I want to lose some weight to do I want to lose some weight to this sooner, bitter. I want to lose some more muscles, so I'm been trying to have to see the train with me, train <clears throat> trainer with me lately. Um, lately I've been trying to in my quiet time, trying to focus on what to do in my life, what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I'm been trying to focus on that and figure out myself and me. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> Sure. There you go. I mean, yeah, we're talking about we're talking about character building. We're talking about strength building. I don't know. I just sort of something. Quite time for it. Seriously, that's what you need. So, all right. So, what's been going on in my life so far besides working my tail off? Um, it's probably working my tail off. Um, I, for those who don't know, I'm now a delivery driver for Schwann's, and I actually like this job, um, but it's very long hours and a lot of things you have to deal with. Um, but also, uh, I got my DJ business back up and going, and I've been booked for 10 events for this year, and probably, I think I have three that are pending for next year. So, That's awesome. Yeah, so it's, it's been really, great, it's great, been really great. good. Uh, a lot of weddings, club events, that kind of thing, so um, God's been really a blessing on my life, even though... Um, I've kind of struggled with it over the times, but uh, I think a couple things we can learn from this, especially with uh, what we've been going through, is that you know even if you're even if you're faithful. So like yes, in the times that in the times that you don't think you're going to make it, in the times that you don't think that you could pull anything else out, um, <clears throat> God is faithful, and He shows that every single day, and even in the times where you know, some of us thought we were going to give up, uh, especially myself included. Um, it's just, he is faithful. I mean, was that, was that you say, Steve, you reap what you sow, right? Yeah, you reap what you sow, but I think um, being faithful is parallels to being persistent. So you got to be able to have faith in yourself and God, even in the dry seasons of life. Um, it's very hard, obviously, with financial situations. Uh, when your finances are tough and, and you can't, pay your mortgage payment or your car payment, how do you get to work, how do you survive? Um, those things are tough, but you still, God is still expects us to be faithful during those times. And I believe that, um, just like Matt said, he's been blessed with, uh, you know, 10 new appointments this year, and he's got three penny for next year, that um, God, or Matt needs to get back into God's kingdom so that God can uh, continuously bless him um, for what God's doing in his life right now. So that's, um, really important to think about as well. So don't just, when God blesses you, don't just take it, but give back to His kingdom, because um, ultimately that's why we're here. So, but yes, yeah, so faith is a very important part. 
um, of our lives. So yeah, we we have just been uh, phenomenally blessed, and the reason why you haven't seen us over the last couple well, weeks been busy is because spot, man, for real. we've been seriously busy. No one um, can get hooked up. <laughs> we just, seriously, we can't we get just, hooked up. Literally, we yeah, can't. Yeah, we we man. just all the guys. Um, we've been working really hard, and then all the guys have been blessed uh, tremendously. Um, so. If, in case you were wondering, prayer works. Yes. And uh, it's working every day in our lives. And I'm sure it'll work in yours. Um, the next thing is that season two, we will continue of Get to Know God. And I think the next one we should talk about encouragement. Um, because a lot That's of things. I've been thinking about a lot recently. A, a lot of things going on in our lives. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, there's things on the news like I, I was out with customers this afternoon and there's a bunch of stuff on the news about teen suicides and um, just all the crap going on right now the bombings the shootings the killings um, so one thing we really need to talk about um, as a group as a country as a church as a family is encouragement and uh, we definitely all need it especially right now um, so yeah, we're going to definitely talk about that. I'm going to leave it with these guys. You guys got anything else to add? Yeah, um, really quick too, I also want to say that um, I'm very proud of AJ here. Um, he's kind of a guy that's been persistent um, through dry seasons in his life. He's, uh, if you want to share your struggle with uh, reading, is that okay to talk about that? He basically has struggled to read uh, for most of his life, but anyways, he um, the past year or so he's gotten a tutor and he still remained positive um, to be around even though he's not able to read. It hinders him from driving. Um, it hinders him from being able to um, you know do the normal things that most people do. So um, if you can't read, you can't do a lot of things. Um, so I'm just really proud of his testimony being faithful. Um, and ultimately, guys, I. Uh, I'm just really th thankful during this this time of my life. I just can't say it enough. I uh, I have a lot of potential with training. I've, I'm very knowledgeable and passionate, but that does not equal um, a successful business. So uh, I've been blessed with um, you know God supplying me with clients and um, just the clients I have really being faithful to me and and not canceling on me all the time or doing some wacky things. So um, I I, also, I got another thing too. More. So also. Um, if you guys are watching this right now and you're like, okay, this all sounds great, but uh, what do I need to do? Um, if you would like to send us your prayer requests, um, we, we, love will, to pray for we you. will personally put them in a pile, all of them. Just send them to us, comments to us, I don't care. Message them to us. There's five guys. I mean, it's me, Jay, AJ, um, Steve, Robert. I mean, we will all pray for you. So... Please, if you have a prayer request or you yes. have a need, please let us know and we will personally pray for you. Um, if you don't want us to mention it or if you don't want us to say it, just say so. It's no big deal. Or your name. Or your yeah, name. Same. If you don't want us to mention your name or if you say it's you know it's anonymous, whatever the case, just let us know and we will definitely pray for you. Um, uh, we're all family here. So no matter what we go through, if we agree or disagree, whatever, we all style got each other's backs, and that's yep. what it's about. Um, so, from the rest of us, we will see you in episode three of uh, season two of Get to Know God. Peace.